Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on Blake Farms. Woohoo! Your host with mm, not the most. AKA Tommy Miller, Mr. Blue. Folks, how y'all doing? Y'all doing alright? I've I've been better. Um first thing I wanna do is apologize for being gone. Um I thought I was doing pretty good there and I got a chest code. And then I got some other medical problems I, I don't want to discuss. Um, just everything is doing better. Um, but we're going to have some fun on Blake Farms. Uh, my throat may get a little scratchy here and there. But uh, other than that, I hope y'all enjoy it. And uh, we got a couple new toys. Well, it's actually uh, a new mod. I skip because can't turn that short. Let that down. And we'll go to town plowing. This is our case uh, subsolar. Oh, I missed it a little bit there. Oh well, maybe I cover it. But I have to do this manually because uh, you know hired worker won't create a field. Wish it would, but. Um, I'm going to zoom out here. As you can notice, we are up here on the North Farm. There was some trees here, right? Y'all remember? Go back a couple episodes, y'all can see that. Should be this one episode and you'll be able to see it. But We cleared all the trees back. And we also... Hang on a second, I'm going to make sure. Yeah, my voice, everything is recording. Just want to make sure. <sighs> anyway... Uh, Mr. Metalwood, or I think it's his Metalwood, yeah, Farms. Remember they had the equipment and stuff? Uh, bob truck, front loader, and that tractor and all that. Oh, well, some things have changed, folks. Some things has changed. Uh, the bob truck, I want to call it a bob truck, front loader. He pretty much give to us. And all these trees here was a payment towards the tractor. Yes, folks, the JCB, that big, nice, fancy tractor, is ours now. But, of course, we had to do some work. We had to do some work. Let's see if I can make this turn. I'm not going to make it. Yeah. But, uh, they should be, let me check on them here. Oh, yeah, one of them's already here. Okay. And it's the Fast Track 8310 Stealth JCB. And we're going to go ahead and stop driver. He's rolling. Oh, he was rolling. Uh, who was that? Was that Miss Sandra? I cut the last, look like Sandra. Miss Sandra from SoulFoodQueen.net. Even this this tractor here is having a little stroke. I don't know if it's got the biggest motor in it or not. We're gonna have to check and see. And uh, I also don't know if this has been sprayed or not. So uh, let's uh, just kill a motor here for a second. The other guy's making a turn down there by the cow farm. I want to go to our tablet here and see what's what on the soil. It's been sprayed once. So it needs to be cultivated and sprayed again. And then we can plant. And uh, this planter here does not have uh, the fertilize option. So. Anyway, our other one should be here shortly. Uh, we're going to plant canola. Go back to our tablet here. Fill nine, five, six, and nine. We're going to do 
canola on because if I'm not mistaken um, our good friend that owns Phil 8 has planted canola so uh, and we should be able to plant canola let me double check yes our second crop is uh, wheat barley and canola and uh, we're going to go ahead and plant canola folks so we got the ADAR bringing in. This is probably going to be a short episode. I'm going to do it this way and get in them. Okay, enter. I done passed my turn off, so. Um, this field over here has been uh, cultivated and it should be ready. Let me check it real quick. I'm sorry, folks, for all this field work. Yeah, field nine is ready to be planted. And we got our own fur lines, but I need to get that off of grass. So I'm going to stop driver. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get this guy planted. Let's go on the road here. But we're not going to plant grass down here. Uh, that's a different feel. We're going to have to see that next episode. Marley. All right. That's canola right there. I didn't have very much seeds, but in him, I want to have to get the pallet maker out and make some more. But, uh, yeah, we, we got this big old boy here, folks. Uh, big old dr John Deere drill. With the um, dual zone, the thing instead of rotation. I'm going to zoom in here, see if y'all can get a better look at it. See, it's got the dual wheels there. I, I love it. What, what's... Oh, what stickers on there. I thought the doors on top was open. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, try to get lined up here. Get this bad boy unfolded. Just going to plant uh, around across the ends and hopefully. Well, that's not going to work. I was scooting way over. This sucker is wide, folks. It's wide. I'll tell you what, I need to. Uh, I need to show y'all our new GPS, by the way. Um, it's kind of like the other one. It's just a John Deere scan. And it seems to work pretty good. I'm still trying to get used to it. Uh, oops. Let's turn it off. Oh, let's see that. Do that. And I go right here. And that cuts the blue line off, the offset off. So I'm going to need, uh, oh, no, nope, wrong way, looking the wrong way. I want a good, good gap right there. So uh, let me uh, try to get scooted over this a little more without damaging this thing. And I am set to right. Canola, in other words. This thing is taking forever. Okay. Alright, now, let me try to back up. Once you get straight, it's not bad. And just trying to get straight up. Ah, right, turn this baby on. We still set the canola lower it down. And here we go, folks. We are planting canola. We're still mighty close. Let's make sure we're uh let's just scoot over this a little bit more. How's that? I say about right there. 
All right. And uh, as you can see up there, we do have rain in the forecast. And then we got snow. Then it just looks like it sets in raining after that and snow. So you got to get this in the ground. Not bad, nine mile an hour. Big wide cultivator like this. One round's going to do plenty. We'll go down here, turn around, come back, and we'll put it down on that end. So, folks, I'm going to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and I will meet y'all back here in a minute. Uh, do these ends and then do a straightaway, get that filled in because it's going to be at an angle, so I might have to fill some of that in. And then I'll be right back. All right. All right, folks. Got the other tractor straightened out over there. We're going to hopefully see if I can make this turn right here. Oh, goodness. We got it set up on canola. Wait, let me make sure. This second, folks. Sorry about this. Oh, no, no, no. I want that to go over. And yes, we are doing canola. Just had to make sure. Just had to make sure. But yeah, um, dude let us have a tractor. He said with what we done and everything for him and all the wood we gave him. Uh, we got us a fast track stealth model. Um, I like it. I love it. Nah, I want some more of it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just, just messing around, folks. I'm on hope that he'll turn to his left. And I'll be able to do this mess right here. Slow down on the planted crops. Our poplars are starting to look pretty tall. I wish I could say the same about our uh, trees on the other end down here. All right, let's unfold this baby. A lot of people want to drive forward. It's the wings are unfold their sails, and they're supposed when they get back, they're supposed to lock in place. All right, we uh, yeah, I, I hate it when it does that, but you know what? I forgot this thing don't fertilize. It doesn't fertilize. All right, we, we're going to park it over here. We got to go check on the other guy. Make sure he's turned the right way. But we're going to start over here in this field. Get a couple of tractors working. And finish plowing it and stuff like that. Now, here's our one's going to be doing the plowing. The uh, Ford. New Holland 8340 in the in the 6R there. Um, now we're gonna play the dab around. Actually, that's where I needed to be. This truck, big bud, big brute, I should say. Oh, I'll put me back in the truck. Why did you do that? All right, folks. Um, I'm probably going to cut jump cut here because uh, I gotta figure I gotta spray which we're not gonna I found that oh yeah we cut down these trees here by the way um, Jason and them decided that this house needed some uh, 
more daylight. Um, yeah, while that's unfolding, you know, I can't get enough of this. Uh, yeah, all this needs to be sprayed. We'll just have to see what's going to turn. That's all we can do. Just see what's going to turn. Oh, I forgot to refill. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's just go ahead and run what's out. I'm going to have to finish filing that so I can spray all this. I just want to show you all this corner up here if I can make it that far. Uh, came in GE and labeled it all out. And now I got it too low. But I think we'll deal with it. And I just ran out. But anyway, folks, I will be back in just a second and we'll get a little bit more detailed stuff. Uh, I got to check on a guy up there. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Or to you, I'll be back in a second. All right, I figured I'd jump back in and show y'all what the plowing looks like, how I'm doing it and stuff. Um... Pretty much got the other guy over on follow me, which is Mr. Peanut. He come out to help. Um, you can just keep going in circles if you want. But the best way. Now both of these were the same size, uh, subsolders or plows, whatever you want to call them, and it would work perfect. But since they're offset, it, it's not going to do too good. As far as you know which way you're going now if you just like turn around the other way and stuff it would work out all right but since they're different size kind of hard to tell I'm running a uh, 10 meter back and a 7.5 offset and it seems to be doing pretty good so, and you just hold shift down to see that. Uh, if you're doing it the other way, if you just hired them, it'd be uh, control F. But you can use shift to do the rear commands. Getting a little lag back there on them, but he is plowing. But uh, I just wish when I raise up right here, he would raise up also. See right there, I raise up. And when he got to that spot, it would raise him up. But it don't work that way. So, And also on your GPS, it will uh, throw you off too. You see right there. But all you have to do on that is uh, throw your box back up, move your line over to about what you want, and just turn it on. Be a little off in places, but it'll still work. But anyway, folks, I'm going to pop back in here in a second uh, when we get done with here. Uh, I'm probably do some fertilizing. I've got it filling up, so see you in a second. All right, everybody. I have got the cultivating done up to here. Uh, all, all that there, what is it, fill six? Yeah, fill six and the new addition to it is done. I just got a little bit right here to do on this one. And then we're going to go get some seeds for the planter. Our uh, planter up there ran out of seeds. Got that much done. I um, think it's done pretty good on the seed usage. I'm going to go ahead and fold this one up. We might not need it no more. The 6R does pretty good about uh, keeping up and stuff. As long as nothing goes wrong. Whoa, almost stack now. 
we'll leave that there. We're still waiting on our sun flyers. They're not ready yet, folks. Of course, it's uh, continuing off the episode of uh, earlier. And here's our fertilized truck. Let's see here. Stop driver. And yes, the big bud ran out of fertilizer. Well, this, suck this tank dry. Put it that way. We got to fill this tank up. And I think this truck also does pallets. Uh, no, it don't. But it does have straps on it, right? Ah, wrong, wrong, uh, wrong button. I guess it don't have straps. Oh, yeah, it's got straps. I was on the wrong one. Okay, this, this got straps. My bad, my bad, my bad, folks. I had a little trouble with the seed master, but I finally got it working right. We got the rest of the, the uh, square, I swear, the pallet fertilized. Those right there, that's what's left. Uh, should be four, no, two seeds and two fertilized on that. And I'm going to put an extra pallet or two on this one. Hopefully. They make a road around here a little bit better. But we'll fill up right here. Fill our tanks up. And... Yeah, we got fur. Oh, I'm not on it. Duh. There it goes. And I'm fixing to insert some clips of uh, the sugar beet harvest. It's probably about a minute and a half long. So I'm fixing to insert them right now. Yeah, what do you think about that, folks? This is a sugar beet harvest. Come over here and see how much. Uh, zero. We are at zero. Yep. So, we're going to have to uh, turn this baby off here. Have all zeros. Um. We're just going to turn it off for now. We got more seeds over in the bin that we can do. But we sure do need these babies right here. So I'm going to get this truck here going to the North Farm. While we're waiting on the other one. Uh, no courses loaded. Um... Let's see here, main farm to north farm be the third, yep. Drive course, stop at the last. Let's see what he does from here. Man, he's going to go in the building. That's what I thought. I was hoping he would go straight forward for the line. The line actually starts over there. Well, it's, it's okay. We'll just pull them up here. Yeah, I hope nothing else coming. 
just kind of went out there, didn't I? All right, yep, these guys are uh, still waiting. And we need to sling. This is kind of our last of our manure. Um, there's still a little bit in there, but I can't get it up with the conveyor, so I'm going to get a bobcat or something over here. But I still have all that other manure that's uh, down our factories down there. And uh, Dark Light Gaming is taking care of our cows. And Jacob's taking care of our sheep. I don't know who's in the uh, truck. I forgot to look. But folks, um, yeah, I'm beginning this video was delivered or recorded uh, a couple of days ago, and now I'm recording this on October the second. I uh, really don't know when it's going to go live, but like I said earlier, I, I really, really miss uh, recording and stuff. Uh, so. Uh, as soon as I can get back in the game real good. <laughs> well, I'm in the game now, but y'all know what I mean. I just... Been a couple of days, I'm, I'm still tired. Uh, uh, like, just drained. So, uh... Yeah. Let's see. Open the door. And start spraying. Uh, I... I think we can make it to the barn with the manure we got. I'm not for sure. I don't need to put more straw in the machines up there. Is there a truck past yet? Get some of these boxes out of the way. There's our truck right there. I'm gonna do this long enough. I gotta stop him when he gets on the other road. I'll stop him. Our fertilizer tank should be full by now. Um, Y'all already seen this, so I'm gonna stop this. Oops. Didn't mean to stop it that way. But it'll work. Um, story on this. Uh, I don't know if I told y'all or not, but. Metalwood, Mr. Metalwood, I'm so thankful for him. Uh, we got this Bob truck here. And we got this Kenworth the flatbed, the front loader, and of course that new tractor, the JCB. Uh, with what wood that was here, he just wanted that wood. And he said he was going out of that business. Oh, I forgot about this. I totally forgot about this load. Uh, Pimpkin. Mr. Pimpkin, the bunny. We're going to have to give him more tomatoes. And I don't know if he eats cucumbers or not. Well, we're going to hope he does. Oh, that was a perfect drop. Awesome. Uh, we got to get our honeybee production and stuff back going. All right, this is what I wanted. As you can see, you know, there's our line we got. And, uh, get everything going here. This is how much I got left of spraying. Uh, this field here be ready to plant. Oh, Lord, I forgot about our truck. Oh, he's right there at it, too. Let's see if we can dab over in there. Stop driver. Close this out. We're going to back up here to our road. Make sure ain't nothing coming. In the next episode, we should be should be ready to plant. 
I mean, uh, to harvest. Duh, we're planting now, Mr. Blue. Sorry, folks, I'm still kind of out of it. I nah, should be on the driver's side here. We'll hop in here and unfold them. Start it up so it'll be warming up. There we go. It's going to kind of line up the back of it here. Be nice, I can just kind of do like that right there, and it starts going. Oh, it did. I know that ain't realistic, but hey, all right. I think it's full of fertilizer. Let me see, I gotta get out of the way here. It's gonna go over, park it over here. So that was our dry fertilizer that's in these two right here. The uh guess that ain't gonna fall down no more. Oop. That should trick off. My buttons are getting wore out. But as you can see right there, there are fertilizers. This baby should be ready to roll. Get our cover closed up. Oh, we could use more seed. That, that's the same thing we started with. So maybe we can get on down. Pretty good. Let's turn this baby on. Or plant on in other words. Get our GPS back up. Lower the cedar. And off we go. I love this. I would give anything to do this in real life. Miss our truck there. Yep. Alright. GPS back on. Yeah, it seems to uh, lower that down. Get going just a little bit, and I'm gonna hire a worker. I can't get that off where workers hired. Who we got driving anyway? We got Jason. Jason's doing our planner. Alright, Jason, go ahead. Getting that canola in. Is our seeds too? No, our seeds are perfect. They're not too deep. All right. Um, gonna have to dab through here again. Our truck is full. Now this is where I wish I had an auto load trailer. I mean, a truck on this one. This might be painful to the eyes, folks, so uh, uh, don't don't get alarmed if it's cut out, because I don't know if I can do this. And shouldn't be doing this. I'm going to hurt my back. Oh, they are heavy. They are pretty heavy. Whoa, not through the metal. And there we go. It's going to take two more of these. I know we're going to fix and need them. Ah. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. I'll probably leave this in so y'all can see some of it. And that would be upside down. 
or sideways I should say glad they don't spill out whoa don't hit it don't hit it don't hit it yeah it's just a tad bit too fast on my speed now nah, that'll work that'll nah, work just strap those uh oh strap them oh I'm on the wrong one again ain't I strap them down there we go well, we're gonna take this into the north farm and uh, this should wrap up the north farm no course is loaded uh, main farm to north farm And this one drives about right on speed. I got to unset this a little too fast. All right, we're going to drive course, stop at the last point, and go see uh, what else we can get into. Let's go back this one up just a little ways. Of course, this is the spur line zero. I need to drop it off and go get some actual seeds. We need a seed tender badly. Um, yeah, here we go. Uh, folks, um, I don't know how long this video is because I've got a bunch of clips um, added and subtracted and all that. But I got a strip right there and everything be cultivated and fertilized. And it should be the last. Yeah, see how dark it is? Uh, we're doing that here on well, six, the extended part of six. We'll have to re-fertilize again because you can see the three stages right there. Uh, we got the first stage, the second stage, and here's the last stage here. It's dark blue. Uh, it's just like this. This is our sunflowers. We ain't harvested it yet, so. But uh, you can see what we're looking like right here where Jason's at. Uh, we got to finish this little nub here. And then uh, all this back in here. And I'm going to try to have enough money saved up. Or take a loan out. Because this guy here is down to $79,188 for his field. And uh, yeah, I got him maxed out. And his field is canola also. Canola. So, um, that's uh, the plan, folks. I'm going to get this field caught up and stuff and keep an eye on the planters. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll again. So, uh, like I said, uh, I might not have a video every day, but I'm going to try my best to. And uh, if they ain't, don't worry. Don't think I'm going to quit YouTube. I'm not quitting YouTube. Just in case some of y'all are wondering. I know I done got two accounts of some good YouTubers done deleted their accounts for some reason. And they're not talking. So I'm just really hate to hear that. And hope y'all come back somehow or another. But anyway... To all the others that subscribe, that's been here for a while, thank you. And to all the new ones, thank y'all also. I appreciate each and every one of y'all folks. You don't know what it means to me to have so many people to be subscribed to my channel. It makes me feel awesome. So I'm going to try to keep pushing that content out there for y'all. And folks, y'all have a great day. A blessed day, and I'll see you as soon as I can. Later.